Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and it's time for the final battle against Beatrix herself. Uh, first things first, you, uh, well, as always, try to steal some items from her. Uh, this time there's nothing in particular that I really care for. I mean, there is an armor for Zidane that I, that if I can get, great, but it's pretty rare. So, uh, you know, if you don't get it, don't fret over it. It's not the end of the world. Of course, if I can't keep myself alive, that would be the end of the world. That, that would be a problem. I want to have Vivi alive there. I want to have everyone alive, for that matter, but especially Vivi. Okay, there we go. So, first things first, let's uh, tell Beatrix to slow down. And then kick her in the face with your energy legs! No, no, just kidding. But we do want to cast slow on her. I don't know how much that actually really helps, but, well, better than a sharp stick in the eye. Yeah, you see, there we go. Okay, so, uh... See, let's go with Bio. Maybe get a high potion in there on VB if I can. Of course, if she kills him, then well, that would be a problem. Thanks. Thanks, game. Thanks a whole bunch. Well, at least it retargeted to someone that I could actually use it. If only there were a way I could revive people with more HP. Um, let's see. Yeah, Man Eater on Steiner's weapon. Pretty good, but, uh, well, obviously, I, I, it doesn't really matter for this battle. Thanks, Phoebe. Uh, because what happens is, uh, well, just like every other battle, it's a timed battle, so uh, I wouldn't worry about that. Or every other battle with Beatrice, that is, so don't worry about it. Just uh, keep your HP up, and you should be good. One thing that I find interesting is dying. Now, now, one thing that I find interesting, I think Steiner and Freya, don't they both get the chemist ability? Which uh, doubles the effectiveness of items? I mean, that's kind of a weird ability to give to mages, you know? I mean, you'd figure that would be a mage-type ability, or, or like it was in like, Final Fantasy uh, Tactics. Uh, it's a reference to uh, the chemist job class, obviously, in uh, Final Fantasy V. And, yeah, I know, I forgot some references in the last episode. The, uh, book Monster was obviously a reference to Final Fantasy V with, uh, which one was it? Page 64? Something like that. And, yeah, I know, I forgot the reference to Final Fantasy IV with, uh, Meteor and Flare Power. Holy crap, and that's a Final Fantasy VII reference right there! Well, I guess she doesn't feel that remorseful about the Queen wanting to kill Dagger. Uh, yeah, that's true. You outrank Dagger. Or, well, yeah. You outrank... Well, no, she doesn't. You outrank Steiner. Uh, that worked on Steiner. I don't think that's going to uh, work on Beatrix there, Zidane. Especially after she tried to kill you three times. Yeah, maybe she's just lying down there like that. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess I can get up now. What, you didn't believe her? Nuts. <laughs> I just love the way Steiner jumps up and down there. He's like, he's like a cross between uh, Cecil and Kefka. <laughs> Except uh, Steiner's a bit more of a jerk. Yeah, please forgive me for uh, raiding your city, taking all of your treasure, killing all of you, and then nuking your city into the ground. Oh, but other than that, that's okay. Please forgive me. Or we could try that. How, how are we going to do that? She's asleep. Okay. I try. Well, let's see what we can do. Oh, so she knows some uh, healing magic too. Irrevocable. Did they spell that right? Eh, whatever. Come on, Beatrix, you can do it! Hey, hey! All right! Kind of reminds me of uh, opening the gate to the Mana Holy Land in Psyche Densetsu 3. Well, there you are.
All right, we saved her. Let's get out of here then. I like how Vivi's just like, yay! Oh, yeah, yeah, so we are. Uh-oh. She's back. Well, I suppose we should have known that. But, uh, yeah, because Beatrix was here. But Yeah. We're not kidnapping her. We're just moving her around. That's all. Waking her up. It'll be easier to uh, get her out of here when she's able to walk on her own. Beatrix! Yes! Is she going to join our party? More party members! No. No. Come on. Maybe we can negotiate with her? No. No, I suppose not. You will pay the price for your lack of vision. Because, you know, Beatrix has only one working eye. You'd figure that would be a pretty uh, big problem during battle. You know, no depth perception. But, yeah. But yeah, this is why I removed all those accessories earlier. Because, well, we're splitting up again. Oh, bite your legs off! Or heads. That too. Okay, so now we gotta fight these Bandersnatches, and they are a lot harder than they were in Final Fantasy V. I don't think we've seen them since then, but anyway, we got Beatrix, but as you can tell, she's not gonna be a permanent party member because she uh, has no transpire there. Fortunately, she can one-shot these guys. Uh, I'll go over her command later because uh, well, I wanted to get through that a little quickly there. But uh, yeah, she has her uh, psyching command and white. she has some white magic. So she's kind of like a paladin in a way. So now that we're back here, let me just rearrange my equipment. Uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's do this real time here. Uh, let's see. Let's give her the Stardust Rod there. Let's see. For now, the Mage's Hat, but eventually I'll give her something else. Uh, Mithril Armlet and Magician. Where'd the other one go? I thought I had three. Oh, I left it on Kina there. That's right. Uh, let's see. Reflect Ring. Let's give her the Magician Shoes, Fairy Earrings, and Running Shoes. Do not equip Steiner with anything right now. Okay, yeah, I spoiled it. Whatever. Uh, let's see. He's not gonna die. But anyway, uh, let's give, uh, everyone Insomniac. Uh, let's see. I got that on Steiner there. Good. Beast Killer, if you got it. Why don't you have level up equipped? Hmm. Oh, there we are. I must have lost it or something, maybe, when I was rearranging accessories. Okay, let's get out of here, guys. Ha! No! Get back! There we go. All right. Yeah, I can fight that guy, but I've got all the ability points that I care about for now, anyway, or at least temporarily. So, besides, uh, the only one that can kill those guys, well, I'll show you when we get into the battles there. All right, there we go. Well, holy crap! So there's the where those black mages went. I think these are the only ones that uh, we fight here. Er, these are uh, the Type C Black Mages, if I'm correct. Let's find out. Uh, dagger? There we go. Let's go Silence. Yeah, Type C. They got some more powerful spells, I think. Or maybe just better stats. But anyway, let's uh, take them out. Uh, let's see. VV could probably bio the other two of them, I think, to kill them. Or maybe just one. Who knows? But anyway... Uh, I think these are the only three type C black mages that we can fight in the game, now that I think about it. You suck, Dagger! Yeah, that is one of the problems with the battle mechanics in this game. Debuffs, just not that useful. Unless you're using them through, uh, blue magic, because then they have really high hit percentage. Whereas, like, VV or Dagger, for example, they don't have, uh, well, that advantage. They're, they're, the hit percentage of status elements is so low, it's hardly worth considering to use at all. How did he die? Oh, right, the poison. <laughs> well, I guess Bio did take out at least one of them, but yeah, I probably should have just used it on the one, but oh well. Well, there we go. Okay, let's make it out of here. Uh, where are we going to go? Well, I suppose we could try to 
go back the same way we came. Well, sounds like a plan. What are all those things for, anyway? In the middle. Well, whatever. Let's load up the battle here. Now, Bandersnatches are a different breed of cat altogether. Uh, first things first, steal from them. Um, yeah, you see Dagger, she lost all of her summons there. Uh, let's see, Bio can take him out. Uh, Steiner with the Ice Brand and Beast Killer can do that. Uh, maybe heal up if we can. Yeah, Dagger's taking a real beat in there. Holy cow. Oh, I love Bio. Especially when you can get it, when you can get it way earlier in the game than, well, the game probably intends you to be able to get it. Yay! Yeah, Steiner's missing out on some ability points without an accessory, but, well, it's better this way. Let's see, uh, yeah, let's heal up there, especially Dagger. There we go. Okay. Man, just when I was about to get the MP to be able to cast one of those summons, they take them all away! Oh, no, we can't have you actually using summons in this game. That's reserved for the bad guys. Why did they still give her a summon command if we can't use it anymore? Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Well, gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, what is your request? Well, do the best I can. Okay, so we're going to have uh, the princess's math teacher come up with a plan to uh, save the kingdom. Yeah, that's great. Well, see what I can do for you, buddy. Well, yeah, you're the hottest chick around. Who else are we going to fight for? Freya? I don't think so. Well, there is Beatrix. She's kind of hot, I guess. Yeah, let's get out of here. But, but, that would actually make sense. Yeah, there was just one Bandersnatch. Uh, easy enough. Just have uh, Zidane steal something from it and Vivi cast Bio on it. So, there we go. Ha! I am a Dragoon. You cannot catch up with me. Couldn't you just jump all the way to the bottom, Freya? Oh, that's, it's a pincer attack. Yeah, one thing you gotta watch out for these guys, yeah, they're pretty tough. Because uh, they also have an attack that can put you to sleep! But if you've got Insomniac, you'll be fine there. So, uh, Freya is nearly useless against these guys. Uh, even with, uh, what is that? With uh, Beast Killer. You know what, let's show one more battle with these guys. I'm not going to be able to get through the next sequence anyway, so might as well fill out the 15 minutes as best I can and show off some of Beatrix's uh, best moves. Let's defend there. Steiner can one chat. Now we got all of her uh, psyching commands, essentially magic sword. We got white magic. We got full life. Hey, let's show off holy way earlier than we're supposed to learn it. Why not? Let's see how useful that'll be against these guys. But yeah, she's... But like I said, she's a paladin. She has all this advanced white magic. Holy cow! Uh, uh, literally, holy cow! There we go! Wow! Well, okay then. Well, that was easy. And now we switch back to here. But yeah, that's why I didn't equip Freya or Steiner with accessories, because, well, they're not in our party anymore. But, yeah, Square's gonna pull a bastard move on us again. Yeah, right during the middle of the escape sequence, we have to come back here to get a letter. Well, you don't have to, but it's a good idea. If you want to get it, you have to get it now. So, well, okay, then uh, let's just get out of here and make it back to Trina, then. Well, easy enough. Thanks for lowering the gates for us, guys. What the? What's going on? Crap. We're trapped now! Can we get out of here and make it back to Trino alive? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!